Hello everyone, uh, today I wanted to share a new configuration for uh, Clipper on the Manta M8P uh, B3 Tech uh, board. Uh, basically I wanted to show how you uh, set up sensorless homing uh, on the drivers and on the motors uh, for this particular board. So, the first thing that you need to do, um, if we look at the uh, diagram of the board, you need to set some jumpers. Uh, and here, I'm going to indicate it here. Uh, let me, again. Here in, in yellow, you can show just below the um, the black pins of the uh, drivers there are two pins here are with the red uh, rectangular those you need to set the jumpers on every driver or every driver or every motor that you you you're going to use set up uh, sensorless homing so you can set up sensorless homing on the X, on the Y, or on the Z axis. And why do you want to do that? Why do you want to use sensorless homing? Because you are going to avoid to, to use uh, end stop switches for X and Y, uh, or even Z if you use those, or if you, on the Z axis, if you're going to use uh, uh, the BLT touch, uh, sensor or other new devices. There is a micro probe from uh, uh, BQ that is coming out too. Uh, so you're going to avoid those uh, end stop switches and uh, uh, BLT touch type of uh, uh, sensors on Z axis, which means less complicated is your uh, 3D printers, less wiring that you need to do uh, less sensors and cheaper too even though uh, these sensors are not uh, that expensive even you know well BL touch it's like around 30 40 bucks or something like that uh, we'll see how much it costs to the micro probe from BQ but anyway you avoid to run all the sensors and all the wiring for this uh, access so uh, let me show you now. So basically you need to put the jumper here. Uh, let me uh, go back uh, up to the, um, to the diagram of the pins for the Manta P board. Uh, it's up here. Uh, most, okay, here. Okay, let me move a bit. Okay, so up here, if you notice, there are two pins uh, here where I put the yellow, just below the, the uh, black pins for the drivers. So those are where you put the jumpers. Now, to set up uh, sensorless homing, sensorless homing uh, you need to, on the config, you need to go to uh, to your axis. Let's let's do your motor axis. Let's let's do for example. I'll do the Z axis. So uh, we set up this part last time in, la in last videos. So you want to uh, uncomment this line, or if you don't have it, you need to set this line. Basically, you're telling the end stop pin to look for. Uh, the the Z uh, motor in my case and the driver in my case I'm I'm using the TMC fifty one sixty Pro maybe you using other drivers so you need to check out that make sure that your drivers support sensorless homing and uh, it will point to the uh, Z virtual end stop basically it becomes a software configuration uh, beside the jumper 
because you don't have any more of those sensors. So you uh, uncomment this line or you set this line and stop pin equal, it's not equal, colon, uh, TMC5160 underscore stepper underscore Z, colon Z underscore virtual underscore end stop. Now let's go where this TMC5160 stepper uh, Z is defined, which is all the way down uh, where the where we associated the driver to the axis of the stepper. So the Z is down here for me. DMC5160 uh, with the stepper Z. So in this case, I set up the pins, the bus, and now we need to set up these two uh, lines, diag pin and the driver, SGT. Um, value. So the diag pin PC0 is basically the pin that is associated with the uh, sensor uh, in, that you're going to use for the particular axis. It could be a switch or could be the BLT touch or something like that. Uh, BLT touch is a bit different but that's the idea. So if you go back to the diagram where do it you need to check out the end stop uh, uh, section, which is this orange on the top of the uh, of the document, and up here for my Z. In my case, Z is M4 motor four. Uh, where is it? Okay, let me go back a second. I forgot the the pin. The pin is PC zero. Okay, diag pin. Uh, like, let me go back to the diagram for M4 here, PC0, and that's it. Okay, so we're telling the software, it's telling the board, look, use, uh, you're not going to use the switches anymore, you're going to use uh, this sensorless homing feature of the motor and the driver, the driver of the driver, and you know, with the associated motor. So, uh, some drivers do not support this feature, so you need to figure out if your driver supports it. In any case, this is how you set up. Now, what's driver FGT? Driver FGT is basically uh, is the sensitivity value that you need to set for your particular driver to uh, tell, basically the driver uh, tells the motor to stop when this value is reached. Um, so basically, for example, for my z-axis, when the nozzle touches the plate, uh, this value uh, is reached and tell, the driver tells the motor to stop. And in, in, in this case, we reach the, the plate, the z-axis reach uh, zero, basically height equals zero. Now, for the 5160 and the 2130, the value goes from minus 64 to plus 64, uh, actually to 63. Instead, for uh, the 2209 driver, this value goes from zero to 255. Now, you need to figure out this value for your particular driver and it's not the same for uh, the same driver. For example, if you have, you might have end up having the same driver 5160 on two axes, but this value will be different. So uh, you need to figure out uh, uh, which value to set. How do you do that? There is a good guide on the Clipper uh, site. Uh, and let me go back all the way up where I set the link. I'm going to put the link in the description, but if you go to the clipper.org site, uh, you will find uh, uh, the sensorless homing.